What's up y'all, it's the Girls of Trains back with another video and today I'm just be doing a straightening my hair with me while we gonna be chit chatting and talking and stuff. I got a lot of stuff to talk about. You know, just stuff. We also, it's 2 in the morning so I got two of these cold brew coffees, Starbucks kind, that we gonna be sipping on. I actually haven't tried these yet so just gonna try that. feel the energy already <laughs> y'all i'm gonna be up all um, freaking night but yeah so i got this i'm about to just start brushing my hair and after i'm done brushing this mess right here i'm gonna get back to you guys and we're gonna start talking uh, i feel like i'm really getting i having a connection with you guys i feel like i'm really having a connection like i love all y'all even my haters y'all love them too so, with that being said, make sure you like, come subscribe, join this film because we're all trending. After I'm done brushing my, after I'm done brushing my hair, I'm gonna get back to you guys. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I just got through brushing <laughs> all this out. This, this is like I just. So yeah, this is all brushed out. <laughs> this is why I hate brushing out my hair when it's dry. Like this is what I do. This is what I do. It's like, what am I supposed to do now? Like, <laughs> okay. Anyways, so I have this little Connor straightener. Connor, Connor. I'll be saying it. It's right here. Um, it's heating up right now. Yeah, it's heating pretty fast. And I also got this Tresemme heat protectant spray. That way, you know, we're not burning our hair off. You know, it won't damage. You know, so I can get a little damage by me over here. Yeah, I have the hair brushed out. I'm about to start doing it. And we're just going to cover a lot of topics today because, you know, a lot of stuff has been brought to my attention. A lot of things, you know, a lot of my friends are telling me stuff right now. Um, and I'm just not really feeling it. So we're going to go ahead and just go. The first topic that I'm going to cover is self-esteem. So one of my friends brought it to my attention that she just doesn't feel like I'm not gonna say anything but she doesn't feel like pretty and stuff and it, it just really hurts me when people say that like because everybody's pretty in their own way like, you know what I'm saying and it's just like some people really don't you know what I'm saying people really don't think that they're pretty people always look they look in the mirror and they're just upset with them so a lot of females nowadays just they don't they don't have self-esteem like they their self-esteem is really low you know what i'm saying like she doesn't feel good in her own body and i feel like every female should feel good in their own body you know what i'm saying because everybody's built different everybody looks different everybody's shaped different you know what i'm saying like you're not like you know what i'm saying like a lot of girls now are getting bbls and all these plastic surgeries and i just don't you know what i'm saying like you don't have to look i just feel like you don't have to look the part all the time like that's just like the new thing it's like a trend to go get surgery done and things done to your body and I just don't feel like not hating on anybody who does have that or anything like you know what I'm saying like because you know you do you boo you do you but it's just like that's not you don't have to go get surgery stuff to look a certain way like you know what I'm saying everybody's pretty in their own way like I really don't agree on the whole you're ugly, you know what I'm saying? You're not built right, you have no butt, you're flat, you have no boobs, you're flat chested, um, like all that. Like, it's just like, it's uncalled for it. It really she doesn't feel pretty in her own body. And it's like, I don't, like, I just don't know how to feel about that. Like, it's been throwing me off, but like, it's like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to look like everybody else to be pretty. Like, you, that's not, it's just not it you know what i'm saying like everybody's like i was saying everybody's built different everybody's preferences on what their style is what they wear what they like what they don't like everybody's you know what I'm saying? everybody's different like you don't have to look a certain way or play a certain part to be qualified as pretty or court you know what i'm saying like i just don't feel like that's something that 
has to be done. And a lot of females really do be bashing other females, talking about them, and that really kills people's self-esteem nowadays. Because a lot of people take that stuff to the heart. You know, females are sensitive as it is. Especially like with guys. Guys will really say anything like like nowadays, all guys really look for in a female is um, how big their butt is or how big their boobs are. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not really about personality and loyalty and love no more. It's just about what they look like and if they play the part of the world nowadays, you know, like everybody follows a trend, everybody follows everybody. Nobody is themselves anymore. Like everybody wants to be like everybody else. Nobody wants to be themselves anymore. Like they just can't. They just can't. You know what I'm saying? They just can't be themselves. And I just like I really don't feel. Like, I really don't feel like you have to look a certain way or you have to be built a certain way to be qualified as pretty. Like I just don't. But I mean, like, cause not everybody like. Like to have high self-esteem, not not you do you don't just wake up and like oh I'm pretty like you don't like for people who don't feel that way already like you just don't wake up it's not it's not an overnight process to have self-love like it's just not I just feel like people really be bashing other people and females other girls if they don't look or play the part of all these other females and that's not the case you don't have to do that but. Our generation nowadays, you know what I'm saying, like, having a big butt, having big boobs, that's like the new thing, and that's what, you know what I'm saying, guys look for it nowadays. Like, nobody cares about love, loyalty, any of that anymore. You know what I'm saying, look in the mirror and tell yourself, you know, I'm pretty. I don't have to look like this to be pretty. I don't have to have a big butt to be pretty. I don't have to do this, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty. I look, ooh. I look good just the way I am, you know what I'm saying? Like, wake up every day and you tell yourself that. You know what I'm saying? Because you can actually speak stuff into existence. Like, I actually believe in stuff like that. Um, I definitely need a trim because y'all look at these ears. Like, I don't really know how to say or how to put it for you guys that are having trouble with that type of stuff. You definitely don't need, definitely don't take what people say. Um, like don't take it and run with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't listen to everybody and what they say. You know how people call me ugly? Call me this, this, that. Oh, you're not pretty. Oh, you don't, you're not thick. You don't have any boobs. Da, 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 you know, all this stuff. You just, you just can't acknowledge it. You can't. Moving on to relationships. Cause like, this is stuff that's been just bringing about to my attention by my friends recently. And I just have a lot to talk about it with self-esteem, self-love, relationship, loyalty. You don't need a man to love you. Like if you, especially if you don't love yourself. Like love yourself before you ask for someone else's love. Cause it's not gonna go the way you planning. If you don't love yourself, cause if you can't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. Like you know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot in relationships. I'm not about to lie to y'all. I've been through it all in relationships. Like, I just... Relationships don't mean anything to me anymore. I just grew out of all. I don't care about relationships. I don't care about guys. And it's like a guy will tell you just what you want to hear just to get what he wants. Like, you just can't be the victim in that game. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta learn the game and play it back to him. That's how they... That's what you gotta do. So, let's say if a guy's cheating on you... Like, <laughs> if a guy's cheating, but like he's like you're assuming that like, you don't have proof of it, I wouldn't do too much about it, but talk to him and question it. If the guy gets mad, if you're questioning that he's cheating, he's cheating. Okay, he's cheating. Like, there's just no no, <laughs> he's cheating. If a guy can't tell you where he's at, where he's going. If he has to like, if you have to force a guy, if you have to like force love and relationship, love ain't even there. Sorry y'all, sorry y'all, but like I was saying, like a lot of females nowadays, they just force everything. Like you can't force what's not there. 
just like when people are like, well, you took my man, la, 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 la. you took this, took that. You can't take what you didn't have. Like, like a lot of females do that to me, saying I took their man or um, it's my fault they broke up because he was into me. I can't take or do anything. I can't feel like I can't force a man to feel any type of way for me. That's just how he feels. At the end of the day, I had nothing to do with it. So keep me out of it. <laughs> Like, this is how I feel. Keep me out of it. So, I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? Guys ain't nothing. And, like, a lot of people, I'm noticing this with with my own eyes. And with my friends. Like, they, they're scared to leave their relationships because they don't want to be alone. Look, 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 let me tell you. You don't need to depend on a man love you as long as you love yourself that's all that matters you don't need to depend on a man for anything don't depend on anybody for anything I lose focus like because it's like that like when you're in a relationship it's just like that guy that one person just becomes your main priority your main focus you know what I'm saying if you're steady worried about what he's doing where he's at who he's with if he's gonna text back or not you know what I'm saying? You're constantly checking your phone, and you're supposed to be doing your school, or you're supposed to be out doing this and that, and you're constantly worried about what he's doing, who he's with, if he's cheating. Like, it's just stressful, too. Like, relationships are very stressful. I hate to hand it to you guys like this, but a lot of girls and a lot of females struggle with being by themselves. But they don't want to be alone. They just feel like they have to be in a relationship. You don't have to be in a relationship. Like, you just don't. You don't have to be with somebody. You can be by yourself. Like, I'm perfectly fine by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm perfectly fine by myself. I do not care. If somebody wants to walk out of your life, let them. Because like Medea said, if people come for seasons, people are coming in your life for a season, and people come in there for a lifetime, you just got to know which one's which. You gotta play the game against them, not with them. You know what I'm saying? Because all guys like to do is play games. Let me tell you, your boyfriend right now is probably cheating on you. I'm sorry to tell you. He's probably lying to you, too. If he ain't in bed with you, he's in bed with her. I'm putting y'all on game here. You gotta play the game back. <laughs> you got you got to. You can't get hard with it. You can't give all your love and trust. You can't give all of your whole self to that person because he's not giving his whole self to you. I'm trying to tell you. Guys, guys, they, they smart. <laughs> they definitely smart. They know what they're doing. They know what they want. They know how to get it, too. Okay. Like I was saying, like, guys were literally, like, literally tell you exactly what they want you to hear. That's just, that's how they get, that's how they get what they want. They, they smart, y'all. Like, they legit smart. You just can't, you gotta be smarter. Like, you just gotta play the game smarter. Cause that's what I be doing. Get with another person just to make that person jealous. And then go crawling right back to the same person. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Don't go back. Don't go back, cause that's, that makes him think you're weak minded. Now he got control over you. Now he thinks he can do and say whatever he wants to get you back. No matter what he did, because you y'all can play victim, just can't be the victim. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all stuff, personal experience, stuff that I be doing, because I don't have time. I'm on my money grind, pay for chase. I don't have time for relationships. And relationships is just not for me either, because y'all, I just I can't do relationships. I get cheated on. <laughs> you can't always ask people for something. Like, you got to learn how to be by yourself, learn how to be independent. See, females nowadays, they don't have independency, but they just want, they just kind of depend on somebody. They always got to want and need from somebody else. Like, hustle, grind, and keep it moving. Like, that's all you got to do nowadays. And then you straight. You do that, you straight. You ain't got nothing else to worry about. Don't scramble through so much topics, because I got a lot of stuff to talk about. I don't know if you're saying that, but I really do. Okay, so something else that has been on my mind recently, too, that I've been wanting to discuss is friendships let me tell y'all i've been through it with friends i've been through it friends come and go 
that's all I really got to say. Like, that's the moral. That's the, the moral of this story. Friends come and go. Just like guys. Guys are like buses. One leaves, another one comes right back around. Like, you just... There's plenty of fishes in the sea. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you being in relationships and stuff, and you really love that person, and he cheats on you, lies to you, messing with other girls, doing da 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 with da. You just gotta learn how to let it go. You gotta let him go. You know what I'm saying? Like, and also, another thing that's going on with, you know what I'm saying, in my life, not with me, but, you know, with my friends and all. I'm just hearing stuff, you know what I'm saying? And their guys aren't really showing them much love and affection. Like, it's just, like, the cheating. I don't want to say cheating, because I don't, you know what I'm saying? There's so many things qualify for cheating, and guys always just, they just don't know what cheating is. Like, they cheat so much, they don't even know what cheating is. Let me, so let me just, let me just clarify. Texting another female by in a relationship, cheating. Hanging around females constantly, 24-7 while in a relationship, cheating. Having a girl best friend while in a relationship, cheating. Spending at another girl's house while in a relationship, cheating. Loving other girls' pictures, cheating. Texting other females, cheating. Let me tell y'all what sneaky is. If he always takes his phone everywhere with him, cheating. If you don't know his password, cheating. If he always has something, if he always looks guilty, he has something to hide, he most likely is. These guys be playing the roles of their plays so good, you just never know. But you gotta know. You just gotta know, because you just never know with guys nowadays. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, like I was saying, my last relationship, y'all. I don't know how to say this, because I don't know who watches my videos. I just don't want people to feel targeted and, like, I'm throwing shots. Because I'm really not. I'm really just speaking in general. I'm not throwing shots at anybody. I'm speaking in general for from a female's perspective about things. If we're not... Let me, first of all, let me tell you, you can't love nobody after two days, a week, a month of knowing them. Like, that, no. No, I'm sorry. Like, that's, no. Y'all don't know what love is if y'all loving people after two, three days, weeks, months. It takes time to love somebody. It's something that takes time. Like, you don't just, like, you have to build that love. It don't just come. Like, love is just a feeling, too. Like, that, that can come and go, too. So I said, I'm gonna love you forever. Yeah, that, that was just a lie. That was a lie. It's a yank. Cause you never know what could happen. If you, you don't know the future, you just don't. And all these young teens now as I'm talking about marriage, you don't even know, you don't, you don't even want marriage. Like telling females that you want to marry them. You don't even want marriage yourself. That was a cap. That was a lie. Like, you just told a lie. walking around with their eyes closed nowadays. Y'all just don't know. Like, you just, you can't, you got, you can't be blind to it. Especially if it's right in front of your face and you're sitting here looking like that. That's a guy sitting here cheating on you, right in front of you, but you don't want to leave him because you, you're, you don't want to be alone. Or you don't want to leave him because you claim you love him, you know what I'm saying? You can't be alone. Or he depends on you, or he's paying the bills, so I feel like I have to keep him around. No. Mm -mm. This is why y'all need to learn how to be by yourself. When you learn to be by yourself, you ain't gonna need anybody for anything. Like, I'm good on my own. I mean, a relationship is nice every now and then, but I don't really need it. I don't need it. I don't need anything but money and myself. It's like, y'all, nothing is forever. People always talking about, for lifers, we're for lifers. <laughs> 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 Let me tell y'all, but life, that's not a thing, because nobody's promised tomorrow, so for life, for, that for life for stuff is for the, for the birds, 
That's for birds, cause ain't no for life. I'm trying to tell you, ain't no for life. Especially if you know somebody for a week. How you know you for life is if you know them for a week. That's no, nope. That's not for life. Y'all's not for lifers. Talking about for lifers. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Mm, I'm weak, bro. Like people really be on that stuff, like. Like no, you're you're not. You, it, 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 it's not gonna work out. I'm gonna tell you, baby girl, it's not gonna work out. If he's over here calling his wife a week after knowing you, it's not gonna work out. If he's telling you he loves you, we got to know it's not gonna work out. If he's claiming he wants to be with you, no, it's not gonna work out. If he wants to marry, no, nope, not gonna work out. Y'all not gonna, y'all not gonna last. <laughs> y'all are not gonna last. I'm trying to tell y'all. Literally, he obviously wants something. If a guy stays in your face, stays on that clingy stuff, like just 24-7, touching you, WW, like, he obviously wants something. But y'all females, y'all just think it's cute. It's not. It's not cute, too. It's not cute having a guy in your face 24-7, because then you're making a name for yourself. I keep burning myself. Because then you're making a name for yourself. That's not what you want, either. I'm not saying every guy is for the streets. Cause not, you know, there are some good ones out there, but they you just where they at? Where they at? Cause let me know. <laughs> oh, I'll be choosing the wrong one. I just I I'm not good with shit at all, y'all. Like I don't I don't know how to love either. Like like love is just not in my vocabulary. I don't know how to love people. I have a problem with that. It's something I need to fix, but they see and stuff is going on in front of them. They see and exactly what's going on, what's right in front of them. But they ain't gonna do anything about it. I didn't know he was cheating. That, that's that's cap. That's cap. You did know. You did know. You just didn't want it. You just didn't care. You didn't care to know. You didn't care to find out either. And now you're sitting there hurt, crying on the couch by yourself, listening to, if you thank you. Like, no. Cut that out. Because I know. I know I'm guys cheating. I can read guys like a book now because I've been through too much. And now, I don't, guys don't play me because I play them. Like, like, I ain't the heartbreaker. I'm the heartbreaker because I don't have time anymore. Call me what you want. But you ain't gonna play me now because I'm definitely not better be sitting on my bed crying. Who I look like? I got things to do, checks to make. But I ain't better be sitting down there crying for we being depressed. You know when somebody's cheating, bruh. Let me tell you, because their whole personality changes. The whole guy just changes when he's cheating. He, he just changes. He, you don't even know who he is no more. If he gets mad at you for assuming, questioning that he's cheating, or asking if he's cheating, then he's cheating. <laughs> like, that's just that. Guys ain't gonna get mad what ain't, guys ain't gonna get mad or get hurt about what ain't true. Guys would try so hard to get you in the beginning. So hard. I mean, they would put so much effort in to taking you out, to trying to get you to go out, getting you flowers, buying you stuff, complimenting you. They would just try so anything so hard to get you. And then when they get you, they they stop trying. Like, no, you got to keep trying if you want to keep me. Like, haven't, haven't a guy call you pretty? That's not, no, that's not helping your self-esteem. It's not helping self-love if you don't love yourself and thank it for yourself. Just because the guy's telling you, that don't mean nothing because he could be lying. You know what I'm saying? Guys do that. Guys are evil. Look, let me, let me tell you a little secret. What you do is, okay, if a guy's cheating on you, if he's lying to you, any of that, anything he's doing to you that's hurting you, see what you got to do is, if you ain't wanting to leave yet, you know, you just want to get revenge, payback, whatever it is, when you're just too scared to leave, too blind to see anything, let me tell you, you gotta watch their every move because you gotta pinpoint what they're doing. You gotta pick up on it. You gotta learn it. That way you can play it back. You know what I'm saying? Guys hate that. They hate that. They hate when you give them their own taste, their medicine. But that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do, y'all. Y'all have to play the game back. You have to learn the game, play the game, then use the game against them. That's how they. That's that's how you get them. That's how you get them. Because then they like, like, who is that? Who? You know what I'm saying? 
I'm telling y'all, I'm putting y'all on game. I'm telling y'all, you gotta learn the game, play the game, and use it against them. That's how you win. That's how you don't end up heartbroken and hurt. At the end of the day, <laughs> they just don't care no more. They, they ain't really hiding it no more either. They, yeah. People ain't hiding anything no more. It's right in front of your face. Like, literally, it's right in front of your face. Now, they, they ain't trying to hide it no more. They ain't trying to hide anything. They just, they don't care no more. They just, they put it out there. And if you don't see it, then you're just stupid. Because <laughs> not everybody got the best intentions out for you. Not everybody is there to look out for you. Not everybody is supporting you. You know, they could be smiling in your face, congratulating you in your face, but behind your back, they're playing, they're playing, uh, playing to move something playing and moving against you you can't put on the effort it takes two you know what i'm saying you can't be pulling 50 you can't be full you can't be pulling 90 and they pulling 10 you know you gotta be equal okay you gotta balance it out which it ain't gonna work that's why you just y'all gotta y'all that's why y'all females and y'all guys and stuff speaking again speaking for all y'all just gotta be wow y'all just gotta learn how to be by yourself and ride solo you don't always need somebody. It's like people get into these relationships, and the first thing they want to do when they're in these relationships now is move in together, get in the, get a place together, and do all this stuff together. First of all, I wouldn't advise. I wouldn't do that if I were. I mean, <laughs> it's not gonna work, baby girl. I wouldn't jump straight, especially if you have any experience living on your own, like me. I'd rather experience living on my own by myself before I move in or have somebody move in with me. That way I know what it feels like to be on my own, right? Because once you, once you just jump straight into it, you're not going, you're not depending on yourself anymore. You're depending on that person. It's like, people be asking me, y'all, how to deal, how do I deal with toxic friends? How do I deal with toxic relationships? I just, I don't, I don't deal with it. I just, I just don't deal with it. I just, I just ghost them i just leave them i just don't i don't deal with it i don't like dealing with stuff <laughs> if you know me you know i don't like dealing with stuff i don't like dealing with people I'm not a people person like at all like i just i don't deal with people i don't go i don't do good with friendships i don't do good with relationships i just i just move better alone like i'm an independent person i'm the most independent person anybody knows like If you know, you know. I ride solo. Man, that yo man ain't fully with you. Guys are so indecisive. They don't know if they want her, they want him, they want all of them. They just want one person. They just want them. They don't know if they want to be in a relationship. They don't want to be in a relationship. They just don't know. They're so indecisive. It's like with them, with them not knowing, you not knowing either. You just can't play the part. Or you can't you play the part. Don't play victim or don't fall victim now. And don't definitely don't get comfortable. Cause like I, everything comes and goes. Like nothing's forever. Nothing's for life. Like, I'm sorry. Everything comes and goes. Yeah, you might find that one rock, that one person, that one gym, that one thing. That's just there, stick with you for life. But that's rare. It's, you ain't gonna find it anytime soon. It ain't there. What you want is he ain't giving. <laughs> he ain't giving, all right. So you just gotta move on. It's like I don't wanna leave him. I'm in love with him. I don't wanna leave him. I don't wanna be alone. <laughs> or you know what I'm saying? I live with him. And I don't have nowhere else to go. Baby girl, there's always a place for you to go. They got a homeless shelter. <laughs> uh, you gotta pack your stuff and go. Don't stick around with if a guy's beating you, cheating on you. Y'all know I do my little five to ten minute videos. But I've been hitting y'all with the 20, 30 minute videos. I'm just hot, y'all. I just got like I just I just got to. <laughs> I just got to. You know? I'm gonna get it. I'm the most determined, the most motivated, faithful person anybody has ever met. I know that. If I want something, I'm most I'm going to get it. Like if I see it, I want it, I like it, I'm gonna get it. That's just that. And that goes with anything. 
it's like people ain't even thinking for themselves no more. Like they moving along with everybody else. Having people control them in your mind. Like don't let people control you. And don't let people get to you either. Another thing I wanna cover is people rush a lot of things. Like you can't rush. You gotta be patient. I'm not I'm not the one to tell y'all this because I'm the most impatient person ever. I, I'm not patient. Like, I'm not patient at all. Like, I'm patient. You can ask anybody. I'm not patient. Like, I hate patience. But like my dad said, patience is a virtue. <laughs> so, um, but I'm, that's something I'm trying to work on, y'all. And by the way, nobody's perfect. Like, everybody has improvements. Everybody has something they can Everybody can improve on something. Everybody can get better at something. Nobody's perfect at all. I have no filter. If I say something, I mean, if I feel some type of way, I'm going to say it. Like, I do not care about your feelings at all. I mean, I, disrespect, I mean that disrespectfully as possible. I don't care about people's feelings. Like, I do as, to a certain extent, though. Like, if you're disrespecting me, like, that's when, like, that's another thing. Like, same, this is the same thing that's happening in my last relationship and all that. Like, a person can only take so much, like, there's just so, um, there's just a certain amount of things that a person can take, you know what I'm saying, like, and with some things, some arguments, I won't argue back, I just won't argue, like, it's not because I'm scared to argue, it's not because I think you're gonna win the argument, all this other stuff, like, I just, I'm not, like, I don't like arguing with people anymore. Like, because, like, just sometimes, some things is just a pointless to even argue about. It's, it's like, what are you arguing for? Like, it's just a waste of breath. I feel like, but like I was saying, like, a person can only taste so much. Like, in my last relationship, like, he would just yell at me, bro, like, like, he would just go start, he would just snap, you know, like, one minute, he's cool. I say one thing, ask him one question, he's off, he's, la, 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 la. you do this, it, it, it. um, and I'm just literally, I'll just sit there and listen, I'll sit there and listen to you, and then, while he's still going off there, I'm like, you done? That's sort of the most I will say, like, in arguments, I don't argue back like that no more, like, I don't argue with people like that no more, it's just funny to argue, I'll just, I'll just sit there and ask him, like, you done? You done yet? You good? You done? Until, like, until that point where I can't take it no more. And then I'm just snapping. Now I'm snapping, you know? Because, like, like I said, there's only so much a person can take. But, like, if you're sitting here going off on me every day over some petty, stupid stuff that has nothing, especially something that doesn't have nothing to do with me. And then, you know what I'm saying? Just expect me, you just expect me to take it. Like, I'm not about to take shots from anybody. You know, like, people just expect me to take anything that they hand to me. Like, no, I'm not taking handouts or anything from anybody. But, like I was saying, like, it's like, I snapped, like, one time I snapped on him back. It's just like, he wasn't saying anything, bro. It's like, bro, like, you would argue the other time. Now you don't want to argue now. Like, now that I've had enough, like, I can only take so much. And I'm the type, I'll, I'm the type to hold it in. I won't say anything. I hold a lot of stuff in. Like, I don't speak about my feelings. I don't talk about my feelings. I don't like talking at all in general. If I'm feeling some type of way, I'm gonna just thug it out. And I'm gonna just, you know, just go through it on my own. I don't seek help from other people. That's a habit I'm trying to break too. Something I'm trying to improve on with myself is trying to talk more. And, Stop holding stuff in. I hold a lot of stuff in. Like I feel and go through a lot of things. I just hold it in. I don't talk about it at all. I just don't talk. I just don't talk. I, I need to start doing that. Cause it's not good for my mental health and all that. Like, like I've snapped on people before and I've said some things to people that I regret that I really didn't mean. But it's like where I'm holding stuff in. Like there's only so much I can take. So I'm just snapping on everybody and everything that comes in my way. That's another thing. Y'all just need to grow up. 
and open your eyes because not everybody's for you, not everybody's looking out for you, not everybody has the best intentions for you. Just grow up, like, just be, stay independent, stay to yourself. Like, you don't need a boyfriend, you don't need a girlfriend, you don't need love. As long as you love yourself, you got your own love. That's all you need is yourself. Their uh, boyfriend's name on their necklace or, you know, they have the same about them or whatever. I'm not bashing why I have that, but that's just not for me. I don't really, I don't mess with that type of stuff. It's like, it just feels like he's, like, it just kind of seems like, like he, like, he claimed, like, he owns you. Like, you're his property now. Like, haha, <laughs> she got my name on her thing now. Like, she's all mine. Like, I own her. It's like all these guys nowadays, they want to be hood so bad. They want to be gangster. They want to be repping the streets. They want to, they claim they from the streets, even though good and well they from Beverly Hills. They all Beverly Hills type, but they want to be from the streets. They want to be hood. They want to be gangster. They want to be Glock models, carrying around all these guns, acting like they don't actually use it. Good and well, they even, if you follow the snakes, you're going to lead to the rats. Covered a lot of topics. Proud of myself. And I'm almost done, y'all. I'm almost done. But yeah, like I just don't get that about guys nowadays. Guys nowadays, they want to rep the streets. They want to rep a game. Be part of, you know, the streets. Like just get out of the streets. The streets ain't gonna do nothing for you. The streets is not. Once you get settled and you get comfortable, you ain't moving. It's like, if you just keep swallowing your pride, keep letting them run over top of you and use you as a doormat, like, that's what they're going to claim you as, a doormat. Like, they're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. You can't just let people run over top of you. A lot of females, no, not females, just people in general will be letting people run over top of them and use them as a doormat. Don't be a doormat, be a door. But <laughs> what? Like, you thought you, you thought you was the only one? You thought you was playing me? I don't know when I was playing you right back, you didn't even know. So really, in reality, we can just play. Alright y'all, so I'm just finishing up my hair. Down to right here. Okay, let me show you guys a little back. This is really cute, like... Like... <laughs> so my hair's gotten this long, y'all. It. So make sure you guys like, come subscribe, join the family because we always trending and we just go. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys like, come subscribe, join the family because we always trending. I'll see you guys in my next. Thanks for watching YouTube. You know? <sighs> yep.